problem with my mother is that her heart is always bigger than her brain. I mostly think with my heart because I have deep feelings for him. In my mom's mind, Sammy Strong's gonna get back from Nigeria with $12 million and they're gonna live happily ever after. Hate to break it to you, mom, but that's not what's gonna happen. I would bet that the person that she sees in those photos is not the person she is talking to. I can bet a billion, billion dollars that the person she's speaking to is not the guy in the photograph. We're a very transient society. People travel around the world all the time, and you, know, you can get from Nigeria to the U.S. for a couple thousand bucks. But Sammy Lee hasn't been able to do that, and he's given you a lot of reasons, right, that, that he's not here. Yes. Um, one was he left all of his equipment at the airport, he doesn't talk to you because he can't video chat because they need 3G and it's just not available in Nigeria. Well, we know that's that, not true. Yes, that. If you believe me, then you know that's not true. He dropped and broke his phone. Yes. Well, you'd think with $120,000, he could have picked up another one. You can get a flip phone for about $9, but he says he's saving money for the oil business. Um, he can't fly home because of unpaid taxes. He said that he needs money because his feet hurt and he needs boots. Yes. He sold the equipment for money, but it wasn't enough for taxes. So I, I guess he went back to the airport and got the equipment he left there and sold it, but it still wasn't enough for taxes. And he doesn't have any food because he spent all of his money but if he sold all of his equipment for money and it wasn't enough for the taxes, then he would still have that money. But he says he doesn't have any money for food. He says he was detained by the tax people and he needs bail money. And then he became critically ill in jail. So yeah. he's had a pretty rough go of it. Yes, you know, I, I was really angry about that he gave supposedly all the money to the tax people. I told him, why didn't you keep some money for food? Hey, Anna, I heard that um, if he's being detained by the tax people and he can't talk, I heard you spoke to him today. Well, Miss, he, uh, he Mr. Dan today. went to the detention center and they used Mr. Dan's phone. In a detention, you're not allowed to bring in phones. You do know that. But he uh, called you today. Yes. Why we were here. Yes. Yes. Do you think that somebody that really loved you and knew that you were retired and you're on a fixed income and didn't have a lot of money and all, do you think someone like that would, that, that really loved you, would even allow you to give them money? I mean, have any of these conversations been, what can I do for you? You haven't had those kind of conversations, have no, you? No, no, it was always about, honey, when I get back, you know, I will take care of you and everything, you know, anything you want, I will get for you and, No, yeah, no, it, 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 it gets better. When I had been put on my mother's accounts, he now asked my mom to mortgage the house. Of course. So that, she could send him the tax money. That's, Internet? You know, that's one thing Sent I would never card. do jeopardize my house, you know that. Well, hey, it's me, and thank you so much for watching. And while I have you, do you have a story or a question for me? If so, trust me, I want to hear from you. Click on the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on. You just might end up right here on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it!